Hey, welcome back everybody to JJ Rex Rides with Waymo. And let's go. Heading to San Francisco so. Museum of Modern Art. Please make sure your seatbelt is fastened. So For any questions, oh, press the oh, call support oh. button to speak to oh, the wow. support agent. Anyway, yeah, I'm still with Ed here. I've kidnapped him for long enough, so we're gonna, we're gonna head back. But, uh, yeah, super cool. Uh, and we started off with a nice uh, nice little situation there. Yeah, cool. Yeah, we went all the way up to the top of Knob Hill here and just got on uh, right in front of the Fairmont Hotel. Yeah. Uh, a uh, San Francisco landmark. I'm pretty sure that right across the street was the mayor's house. I think, yeah, I think that's the I, case. Uh, I haven't, I haven't actually checked that, but so it looked definitely looked like it. <laughs> yep, and we're gonna sample a little bit of the incredible hills that San Francisco has to offer. Oh, for sure. In yeah. fact, one of the so the first time I ever rode in San Francisco, uh, Zooks gave me a ride from their place, and it was this amazing loop that included uh, Lombard Street. Oh yeah, and that was a mind blower. <laughs> Especially because that was in like 2019. That sorry, this hill no. just like whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah Zooks. I've heard Zooks does Lombard, but Waymo has it blocked. Do they? Yeah. Okay. yeah. So I we were talking about that to some Waymo people, and they said no. So yeah, yeah. you know Zooks. They were saying at the time. Um, I talked to. It was so funny. I did a, a, an Atonicast episode, and this is like 2019. Yeah. Uh, with uh, their CTO uh, Jesse. Oh, wow. Uh, Levinson and like right after ah, the yeah. ride and you can hear my voice I'm like so geeked because I literally just got out of this <laughs> like the most mind but it was the first time riding in San Francisco and it was so mind-blowing and he was explaining they actually had this like feature in their maps that was so cool where like they like varied the pixel like they have like variable pixel sizes and Whoa. so like like essentially it just allowed them to have much like like very very fine-grained like precision in really really tight areas. Yeah. And I will notice. I have noticed since then. I've been on. Um, uh, I was on one Waymo ride before they opened it up. There was still someone in the seat here, and the only place it really got kind of stuck. This is before um, you know open. It was open to the public. Yeah. Uh, was at a uh, a very and it was like a really tight situation. I would have done it super super slow. It did a little slower than I would have. Um, and it was because just when things get really, really narrow, like it, it becomes very hard to do things with confidence. Essentially. Maneuver. Yeah. yeah. And especially because like, what if someone jumps out from behind this, you have no margin of error. Right. Um, yeah. And so, uh, so I think like Zooks, you know, has, maybe has that advantage in like really, really tight areas, which is what allows them to do, uh, yeah. you know, a place like Lombard. Do they have steering on each wheel is that or is... in the in the the robo taxi design is supposed to have four wheel steering and it's supposed to be bi-directional right so in theory yeah. if it gets stuck you know it, it can drive just as well the other way and because as the club seating there's no right way yeah i don't know functionally whether that's ever <laughs> gonna <laughs> really be like it's cool it's cool as hell but like i i don't know if they're ever gonna really use it yeah. Like, like if it's ever gonna be like actually a useful feature. I, yeah, I'd like to see it. Yeah. 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 Hey, uh, Zooks, if you're watching, uh, call me. <laughs> yeah, show, show us. I want to see this. I mean, it's possible too. They may, you know, over time, you know, uh, the focus is 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 going to shift more and more to things like cost and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so stuff that's just cool, but not really necessary, yeah. may well kind of over subsequent generations. Um, you know, kind of get weeded out a little bit. Yeah, I've seen even even now some of the old Waymo features have kind of disappeared. Uh, uh -huh. Like, I mean, mostly just UI stuff, honestly. Oh, okay. uh, but like, you used to be able to see this the speed limit and all kinds of other stuff, and now now they've really slimmed it down. And it feels like professional. Do you mind if I hit yeah. the play music button? Yeah, just real quick. Yeah. yeah, it's just a Pandora oh, okay. iHeart Radio. Because um, it's funny because I wanted stations. to I wanted to see this because. I want to say when I rode in a Pacifica um, in Waymo, that was the first time I did driverless in 2019, mm. um, I want to say they were still using Google Play, Google Play Music. Yes. yes, which I actually love that app. I was a subscriber yeah. to it. They closed it mm -hmm. and booted everyone to the YouTube, YouTube Music, music uh, which I hate as a music app, but yeah. you get free premium YouTube. Yeah. So I'm like, anyway, yeah. make YouTube Music better, please, Google. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so funny. They, they Waymo finally opened up the... 
<sighs> well, when they when they launched the second gen of music, because they took forever, oh, okay. they took forever. Oh, when, did they? When Google Play Music disappeared, mm. they, it was like actual almost a year, I think. Between, really, before Waymo had any kind of music. Before they had any kind of replacement oh, okay. for it, and when it came back, the first thing I tried it with was Spotify. Huh. But apparently, the version of Android that the screens were running was so old, it wasn't compatible with the DRM <laughs> in Spotify. So it would play about 10 seconds of music and then stop. Oh no! Over and over and over. So I just spent the whole ride, like, fiddling with it, trying to get it to do anything. And uh, nowadays, they support it with the new... When the iPaces came out, now they support Spotify. But, okay. um, but it is still pretty fiddly. So, yeah. like, you have to cast Google whatever stuff and it some you can't really adjust the song too much and it'll get out of sync and then it'll play the wrong song or something. So I'd love to see them have like a Bluetooth out yeah. kind of thing. But wait, so, so yeah. can you cast to this? Not video. Not video, but you can oh, cast music. Only internet based audio. Oh interesting. Yeah. So okay. like, like sound oh, that's kinda cool. SoundCloud you can Yeah yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh I'll see if I can even get something. I'll, I'll just give you a kind of a random demo here see if I can because it'll it even works on your cell service it says you cast and says oh interesting well it should now it's disproving me apparently but, <laughs> but it'll show up as a speaker uh -huh. called, called yeah, yeah, yeah. Waymo yeah 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 but oh yeah. okay see, interesting even now it's not working because yeah. of course not but <laughs> as soon as the as yeah. soon as the cameras roll something always <laughs> yeah but anyway my uh in my first Phoenix ride there's a Spotify demo if anyone wants to see that but it's not that interesting, but yeah. Anyway, music. <laughs> yeah. No, but, uh, but the idea of casting music to to your to your AV is uh, to yeah. taxi is, is an interesting one. Yeah, the whole Google Cast thing seems like it's more complicated than just a Bluetooth thing. But it I feels don't know. like it's really Whatever. close to being one of my favorite things. Yeah. But it's just like not quite. It's like Bluetooth too. I feel like even Bluetooth, like it's it's just not quite reliable enough to, for me to be like, oh, I just love Bluetooth. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, both of them. It's, I think it's just, you know, it's like, this is why Apple controls its whole ecosystem is you have mm -hmm. multiple vendors, even if you have a standard, something always ends up happening. Yeah. So yeah. I was, I was having an issue on this road, you know, I drove down here from Oregon. Oh dear. Oh yeah. We are past the crosswalk here. Oh dear. We are, uh, well, luckily we're not blocking anything. No. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, well, yeah. Ooh, kind of a. A limbo here. Triangle limbo, yeah. <laughs> this is a really funny situation. <laughs> um, huh. I'm just like, wow, the skyscraper. Yeah, so is he gonna? It's yeah. so, so we're waiting for the light now. Does yeah? Would this is this because no, like if you were a human, you would just go here, right? No right on red right situation, or mm, <laughs> it doesn't say that. No, yeah. But we're we're, you know, it's. Yeah. Oh, it's not even technically a right. I mean, it is signaling, so I guess. Yeah, it thinks it's it thinks it's behind the line. The problem is it doesn't. <laughs> like, I feel like it should know that if it's past the intersection, that yeah. or past the crosswalk, that it should just go. Yeah. But again, like this is a really weird intersection because that street that it was blocking or ostensibly blocking was blocked off anyway. Yeah. So it wasn't doing any harm. Yeah, and. That is interesting because in Phoenix, the behavior has been pretty good mm -hmm. about uh, unprotected lefts on yellow. Okay. Like it will, if it's already creeping into the intersection and it goes yellow, it'll just keep going. Yeah. And then the second it knows the vehicle's ahead on the opposite side or slowing down, it'll take it. Well, so, so one that, I, that I was on earlier uh, was quite aggressive on some yellows. Yeah. It really, they it wants to make it through if there's space and, uh, you know, it's got that electric torque for a reason. For sure. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the Phoenix, Phoenix yellow lights are like, five and a half seconds or something like yeah. you, have, you have plenty of space to work with so yep. i think they're a little bit uh shorter here i didn't actually catch it for sure but yeah no and but, i think uh, like that that thing that we just saw there is a good example of like a lot of the stuff like you got to see watching your content yeah which is like how these things are still not perfect mm -hmm. and i think the thing that's really cool to see is that like they cannot be perfect but they're not perfect in like safe ways you know what i mean like right yeah. there was a really good example where it's like a human wouldn't have gotten stuck right like a human would have either gone or stayed right and if it's if it ended up kind of in the middle of that that thing but it was a weird intersection and it, i feel like if the car had been blocking traffic or endangered like the you know yeah. but, but it was it stayed there even though it shouldn't have because it was fundamentally a safe place to be yeah and i think yeah. it's really interesting and it, i think it's important to note that like there's a difference between these systems being perfect all the time and these systems being safe. Mm -hmm. And, you know, seeing mistakes that 
are just things that happen, opportunities to learn and improve, but like are not endangering people, are not making things worse for other other road users. Um, for it, sure. It happens. Yeah. I, um, yeah, I've seen plenty of examples of that, honestly. Yeah, yeah, well, the last time I felt like there was some kind of safety problem really was like 2019, mm -hmm. honestly. Yep. And even then, those were really mild. Yep. Um, but yeah, I feel like way about having the confidence to remove the safety operator is really shows I mean I know this but yeah we're talking about but I, I'm just I just can't get over this you know <laughs> it's like wow I was asking yeah. my mom and my grandma about that what they thought about it and they uh, said I think my mom maybe said it before my grandma but they both agreed that the number one thing was just the consistency mm. and you know that's the that's the absence of of, of errors, you know what I mean? And, right. and especially the absence of errors that again, like hurt, you know, your trust. Yeah. Cause there's like innocuous, like, oh, I might've been more aggressive there or I might not, you know what I mean? For sure. But like, um, you know, trust is one of those things that takes a long time to build up and you can tear it down really, really fast. Yeah. And what you don't see is these, these cars making the kinds of mistakes that make you not trust them, mm -hmm. you know? And so like for me, at least every, um, you know, we've been, what this, the, fifth ride today or something like that yeah and but like there's not and and again i've seen things that were not perfect you know but i have not seen anything that was like my my trust in this is misplaced you know what i mean yeah i don't i no longer trust this i thing. totally get you yeah yeah it is yeah it's so good to yeah, see them improve and uh yeah, I've, I do value that consistency a lot. Consistency is definitely the word I've used. I, I've compared Waymo to McDonald's before. Yep. I don't think that's quite the right comparison, but I, it's the it, like no matter where you go, yeah, it's gonna be the same thing. No, I think mostly. It's a, that's so like that's it, what how McDonald's build their business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I I look I was riding in Phoenix yesterday. I'm riding here today. The driving is exactly the same. Yep. It's. It's like this is the same car. You can't even tell one from another, other than the license plate. Yep, pretty much. So. We had we had one that had some art on the side, which I thought was cool. Oh, yeah, other than it was some like it was some local artists, I think. They, uh, uh, which they do that. Here. I love that. I love yeah. I love it when Waymo does that. Uh, they've done that in, in Texas too. Almost I think in the past. Oh, yeah. Don't forget your so. belongings. Yeah, really, I'd love to see them redeploy the. Uh, uh, Firefly. Oh my god. Um, I am <laughs> the number one Firefly fan. Firefly fan. Yeah. Uh, that car is the is the best. <laughs> that was the that was really the car. I think when I saw that I was like, okay, I'm really interested in this AB thing. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Um never still never gotten a ride in one. I don't know if they'll ever they're all in museums now, so I don't know if they'll ever right. get a chance to get a ride in one again. But um Yeah. But uh pretty cool little yeah. little guy. I'm like I know of two of them. There's one at the Chandler Depot. And there's one at HQ. I don't yep. even know if the Chandler one is still there, honestly. But there's one. The, at Google, uh, there's one at Google X. There's one. Yeah. At, I think the Computer History Museum. Oh, okay. I think the Smithsonian may have one now. That would be. You know, I think be a number of museums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a pretty iconic. Yeah. Um, it's so cool. Yeah. yeah. I, I I think. Yeah. I'm not. Don't quote me on that. Yeah. Uh, Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, some kind of traffic thing going on here. Yep. Yeah. Because we went around that person behind us yep and someone then, was someone was double parked and yeah. an old lady was getting in and oh smart yeah the way my realized that was gonna take a minute which yeah having, having spent some time with my grandma on this trip is <laughs> it's 96 it takes a little time to get in out of the, the vehicles that was smart going around there yeah a really cool logic Let's yeah see. and here we start. are about to yeah. pull up to the oh looks like we got one more traffic light almost there almost come there. on <laughs> So you're gonna do a little bit more riding before you, you head back? I'm gonna see, yeah, see what I can do. Yep. Um, I don't know exactly when I have to, I mean, this morning's uh, line at the Terminal 3 security was absolutely ridiculous. San Francisco. So, oh, in Phoenix, yeah. San Francisco security line, SFO security line tend to be pretty long too. Okay, I'll, I'll go earlier than I probably would, but. Give yourself some time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How many, uh, how many hours of riding did you get today, would you say? three or four yeah i think that's yeah out of seven yep. ish yeah something like that awesome um but yeah so let's see uh oh yeah getting reminder text from the the airport the airline now so yep. yeah yeah the parts at 7 10 okay yeah right. so i gotta i gotta ski daddle 
to... So are we going here? Oh, this is a no turn on red oh, arrow. Oh, it's a no turn on red. Oh, thing. I see. I didn't see that. Oh, it has a specific... Cause it's because the cross when the crosswalk's on, there's no uh, turn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this red light's an SF are ridiculous so far. Yeah. This is, oh, and yeah. I missed a, a, the parking garage I was meant to go into here, and like there's all the one ways. Like, driving in San Francisco is so hard. Yeah. That's the thing. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> who thinks this technology isn't real, like, go drive in San Francisco, and then, yeah. and then tell me that this stuff's all fake. Honestly. <laughs> yeah. Almost there. Another Don't stop forget way. your belongings. Yeah. Oh. So close. <laughs> yeah, did you see the whole Mars and Chuck Hook doing a way motion at in SF? I don't know. I don't recently. know who those people are. <laughs> oh, okay. No, okay. <laughs> I mean. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was. Ooh, that was a little sketch. Yeah, that was actually. Oh dear. Let's not stop right here, though, All right? right? Oh, I might have to get out of the way real quick, Styles. Okay. okay. Hey, John. Sorry. Thank Good you. to see you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Good to see you. <laughs> have a good one. Yeah, see ya. Cyclist approaching. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. After you exit, please close doors all the way. Oh, frick. I got kicked out. Crap. 